called the Girls on Track Karting Challenge. Um, and I think uh, all about the European Young Women Team. Saying that, uh, incidentally, women are much safer on the. No, I don't think that we're going to be able to change the situation from one day to the next. I'm also not greatly over motivated to see the women as normal handing out the leaflets and standing next to the cars being objectified. But I think we are ha making change in a positive way. I mean, I think it's, it's been on the, on the culture uh, for so many years. And again, I think change is happening. Like, like we see in Formula One, they decided to, uh, that there won't be any more great girls. I mean, we, we never, we never uh, uh, looked into optics or whatever when it comes to our presenters or our people who are explaining our cars here. Uh, for me, it is very important that we have specialists, that we have knowledge on the ground, uh, because our customers coming here expect from us that we can probably uh, and properly explain what our product substance is all about, and that is for me the more important thing, not optics, rest assured. It's all about uh, explaining the product and giving product knowledge. So uh, we, we are not participating in that kind of uh, using models to display the vehicles in a specific way. Of course, models can also be utilized, but uh, we don't want to uh, make a derogatory type of uh, display of uh, females. It's, it's not our company value and it's not what we want to do. Totally against the TV plan. From one I can say it's very little difference in the way uh, the car companies are using the women on their stands. Uh, there are still women draped on cars as we walk around the show. And really, is that acceptable uh, in the modern world as a way to present your company? I think that's a question that needs asking and really needs answering now.